Hi friends, I am Swagata from Arts Kaholi. Today I am going to teach you about the coffee zen art. Uh, how to use coffee in the art is the main purpose of this session. Okay, so I take I I take white cartridge paper which is two fifty gsm high. For black fine liners, uh, these are from the Faber Castle Pete Artist Paint, a marker paint, which is a Sharpie marker paint, a pencil, eraser, masking tape, okay, and the most important thing is the coffee powder. I took Nescafe classic coffee powder and just mix it up with some hot water to make this consistency, okay. And uh, I took brushes. Uh, this is a normal watercolor brush. Uh, this one is a 12 and this one is a 8. And this one are the synthetic brushes. And the palette, uh, a normal watercolor palette where I just shake the coffee consistency. Okay. Before starting, I would like to highly acknowledge my art school, art room and my mentor, Ridhimadi from whom I learned I learned this beautiful art which is known as coffee art okay so here uh, uh, here I gonna mix up this coffee art with the zentangle pattern which I taught you all uh, the last session okay so for that purpose uh, previously I drawn I took two paper okay Previously, I drawn uh, two pictures just sketching out of it. This is a magnolia flower and this one is a hummingbird. Just, I just uh, sketch it out. Okay, now I am going to show you how can you incorporate your coffee into this art. First, I am going to rub it out lightly so that the impression of the pencil remain in this paper okay basically which i did i just did a coffee wash into my hummingbird impression okay and let and keep it aside for some time for keep dry okay now now in this magnolia flower i just first i took a masking tape and border my outside because here i wash the whole area with a coffee okay so here what i am doing The masking tip. I left one centimeter from each border, and uh, this one at the A5 size paper, A5 size white cartridge paper, which is 250 GSM. Always take higher GSM paper for your artwork for this type of artwork. So that it uh, looks beautiful. So this is complete. My masking part is complete. This is complete. Okay. And this is complete now. Previously, I just rub it slightly so that the impression of the flower remain in the paper okay this is very important keep on your mind that whenever you do any coffee artwork you just always sketch it out your subject into the onto the paper and then slightly rub it out so that the impression of your pencil remain okay See now, I dip my brush into the coffee liquor and then fill it out.
wir es leichter. Just cover my entire background with the coffee. Okay, now wait for few seconds. Dry up. What happened to my see? These portions are completely dried up. Why? These portion still need to dry. Okay. So just wait for a few minutes. Let them dry. Otherwise, whenever you use your ink, whenever you use your fine liner pen onto it, it becomes much. So for that purpose, you just keep it aside for a few minutes and let it dry down. Here, what I'm doing here, the whole background is covered up with a coffee wash. Then I draw my magnolia flower and put the zentangle patterns into it. Okay. Here, what I am doing, here I just draw a hummingbird and then pour it with the coffee liquor and then just did this bud only, not the background of the paper. Okay, so there's two basically are the difference. Now I just remove my masking tape. Masking paper basically used for the margin. So that uh, you get a equal thing on it. Okay. Just wait for a few minutes. Let me try it. Okay, uh, I kept it aside for dry up purpose. Now I'm just waiting for this and check. Today I'm going to use these fine liners paint. Uh, this is from the Faber Castle Pit Artist. Came into three gradient. 0 0.3 which is small 0 0.5 which is a fine and a medium one 0 0.8 okay uh, you can use any fine liner any black fine liner uh, from micron sakura stadler anything which you want to use okay now what i'm doing i took medium size pen and draw a highlighting I, I highlight my hummingbird okay so i draw outline of the hummingbird first then i put the zen pattern into it okay so for that purpose I just outlining my coming but outlining first is very important because without outline you can't uh, depict your picture uh, after outlining you just fill 
the entire subject of your art with Zen patterns. Okay, so that it will become a coffee Zen art. If you are a mandala lover, you can create a coffee mandala also as well. Yes. See, here is my outline of the hummingbird. Okay. You can also use this coffee wash as a background of your mandala. Or if you want to color your mandala with the coffee wash you can also do that whichever you you wish to do okay it's a very soothing art and just need coffee which is a regular household just need nothing any no color nothing okay now see here is my outline of the my subject hummingbird and uh, as a background, I just draw a triangle. Okay. Now I'm going to draw the eye of the hummingbird. Now I just fill this bird with the I fill my bird with the Zen patterns, but not the background of that is which I draw. There is a triangle. Okay. If you want to fill your background with the some zentangle patterns you can do also that but uh, I don't do it okay here it's completely up to you okay here is a full of uh, now what I am doing uh, first I I took 0 0.3 no sorry I took 0 0.5 gradient pigment fine liner okay and randomly do some lines over the body of the bird okay and just randomly do some line over the body of the bird now i'm going to use a pattern a triangle one see uh, i hope you all see my zentangle pattern life season where i taught about the patterns of the zentangle and I said also that if you know the pattern of the zentangle then you can incorporate it into any any subject of your choice of drawing okay so here I am going to use the triangle pattern over triangle okay in one part of my humming in one part of the body of the hummingbird okay After completely drying the coffee, uh, whenever you use the fine liner over it, it doesn't smudge. Okay, but if you use your fine liner on the wet coffee wash, it will be a higher chance of smudging. Okay, uh, see what I'm doing. I 
first drew the pattern of z-angle which is known as triangle over triangle then I incorporate uh, and then I fill these triangles with a small triangles inside this inside this okay check and just fill it whichever pattern you just want to do you put it over into your subject But before that, you have to gain knowledge about the Zentangle pattern, how the patterns are made, how the patterns are drawn. Okay, then you can use it and experiment it as your choice. So, one portion of, of the body of the hummingbird is complete. Now, I am going to the second part where I am using the swelling pattern. Okay. Swelling pattern means just swell it out like this. Uh, I use point 0.3 uh, for this Zen pattern. And I'm going to use this pen and I'm stick to this pen all over my art. But uh, if you wish to change your gradient, you can take uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, whichever you want. Okay. You can change it as your choice. But always use fine liners over the coffee wash. Okay. No any gel pen. Nothing. Now. This part is complete. Now I am fill this one uh, with uh, some wavy pattern. Okay, with some wavy pattern. Now this one with some uh, uh, stripling. Okay, just dot. I love this art. This is known as a stripling art. Whenever you dot anything and whenever you use dots into any of your subject of drawing, the, that art is known as a stripling art. Okay, now, now I did the tail feathers of the hummingbird. Okay, uh, what I am going to do, uh, I put semi-circular loops pattern into my first tail feather of the hummingbird. Okay. Uh, if you wish to do the bar, uh, do your uh, bar with a particular one pattern, and if you stick uh, into a particular one pattern, you can do that also. Or you can, uh, if you wish to do multiple patterns uh, into your bar into or into your subject of art, you can do also that. Okay, whatever is your choice, any pattern of Zen angle. Okay, this is so calming and so soothing art. It relaxes stress, daily life tantrum, and you don't need any priority of art. Anybody can do this. Anybody, can. anybody. Uh, if uh, like the anybody means like if he or she wanted to do a triangle, uh, then he paint a triangle, then cover it with the coffee wash, and then 
just fill it with some pattern now that would be a coffee set so anybody can do this this type of art and specifically these are all came under a art therapy a mental art therapy now uh, one tail feather i cover up with some semi circular loops and lines now this one i am going to do v lines and continuing this okay this drawing several v's now here i am going to do carved line okay wavy line in a random manner you don't worry about your pattern zain pattern whatever in your mind you just put and feel your subject of drawing with this pattern so there is not a hard and fast rule okay now in case of fourth tail feather i'm going to use um, small small circles over circles small small circles uh, like a pebbles okay like a pebbles small small circle this is a very mindful art whenever you do you understand well it's very very mindful art now rest of the two i'm going to fill if you want to I just put a dot inside my each circle, so it's not necessary. But if you want, wish you can do that also. Just a bit. Okay. Now, for here, I'm going to use slanting lines. Okay. from one end to another whenever you uh, using lines into as a sorry as a pattern make sure that your lines should be in a one direction okay whenever you just uh, i'm doing it with free hand if you wish to do you can take uh, scalars as well okay now for the last tail i'm going to use the pattern last one i'm going to use okay light triangle okay Let's see what i'm going to do. first i draw big big triangle and then inside the triangle i fill it with some slanting lines okay Now, now, now in case of tail, sorry, in case of wing feather. Now, my the body of the hummingbird and the tail feather complete. The wing feather for the wing feather, I'm going to use. Here I just. Okay. 
okay now uh, for my wing feather i just covered it with some lines whenever you draw your coffee zenith or whenever you draw anything with the coffee it smells too good too do okay now and then i i'm going to fill this part with the with some semi circular loops this loop it around okay and then first time main semi circle pattern then inside the semi circle i fill it with some loops multiple loops it's like a uh, it also resembles like a flower pattern whenever you draw flower you make such type of loops so basically like that no worry you can uh, choose your own pattern and incorporate it so that your subject filled with a rectangle patterns okay so here one of my wing of the hummingbird is completed now in case of another one i choose the same pattern which i drew over here that first draw some semi circle loops then fill it with and then followed by the lines okay no worry now the semi circles are filled with petal like loops this covering will do some loops uh you can see that uh, this portion of the wing in this portion of the wing the coffee wash become darker no worry for that it shows a shade it creates a beautiful shades so just left it over just like that just as it is okay? you don't need to cut it my hamming bird is almost complete just this part needs some touch up okay the eight region or the eight bird needs some touch up that 
uh, here I'm just going to use the pattern leaf like pattern and feel it drop down the line If you have any question, just DM me or you can put your comment on the comment box, okay? And I'm happy to give you all queries, okay? Now here I am just stripping around it, okay? With some big dots. I fill this portion with some big dots randomly. Please share this with your friends and make and please please feel free to share your creation with me by hashtagging me or at the rate artscoholic and I'm happy to see your creation. Now see almost done. And what I am going to do? I just highlighted it with the Sharpie permanent mark. This outline part of the work. So I highlight the outline so that it looks more prominent. Uh, this is a yeah, I love to do highlights whenever I draw anything but if you not you just left it over as it is whatever you want to do it's yours but don't forget to share your creation with me and hashtag coffee zen art and tag arts koholik and i'm happy to see your creation and i will also share yours on my post so that everyone can see Stay creative always and learn new things each and every day. Okay. Coffee Zen Art is complete. Okay, now I'm moving towards my second one. Now, in case of second one, what I'm doing, I covered the entire background with the coffee. Now I am doing the magnolia flower with the Zen pan. For that, I just first I highlight the magnolia flower. Okay. What I am doing always to higher gradient, okay. Always to higher gradient fine liner for the outline. Draw the outline first. So, 
here is my flower. Don't see. I now I took zero point three again and fill this flower with some the entangled pattern. Okay. So for that, for my first petal, I am going to choose semicircular loops. make further semicircles inside the previous one and then fill it with some lines okay so for this one I'm going to take these again semicircular loops and fill it with lines Now for this one, I'm going to take curved line, okay, and just randomly follow that one. For this two petal, I'm using this curved line, okay. Here I incorporate the pattern same pattern into the two petals of the flower and this curved line are going from one side and then from the other side just in the opposite direction you can see it clearly just the opposite same as well here I use these carved lines or wavy lines in opposite manner to fill this petal. As, it, uh, as this one is a folding petal so for that purpose uh, this this part is a folding part of the petal okay so here I'm just stripping out I fill this part with some dots Uh, now for this two, I am going to use, I am going to use uh, triangles, over triangle, okay. This one is my favorite pattern of same triangle. Okay, now fill this. And then fill, fill it 
by drawing another triangle inside each and every one. I hope you all understand about the patterns of the rectangle. These all are taught at my last season, last live season. You people enjoy and share your work with me and get 60 zentangle pattern sheet hope that will be beneficial for you all so please please share your coffee zen art with me you just need fine liner paints 250 gsm ka white cartridge paper and a regular coffee powder and some hot water to make the liquor to make this liquor and and some watercolor brushes in this palette so this one uh, is uh, this petal is also a folding petal like this so here at the folding part i'm just fill it with some dots This petal is also a folding one, so I fill it with the dots. Okay, uh, now this pattern, this same pattern, I repeat into my this petal triangle over triangle, and then fill it with another triangle and cover it up. Now inside it, I feel another one, small triangle and cover it with ink. So you, once you learn the technique of using the coffee into your paper, then you just have fun with it. With it and uh, experiment in your own way. And it's really a soothing, and it also see it also gives you a vintage look, a sepia tone look while using coffee into your any kind of art, any kind of art. Okay. Now for this two. Petals, I am going to do this. Make okay. Uh, now, for my last petal, I am going to use some semicircular loops. Okay, inside this, this semicircular loops over loops. Okay, now my Zen Magnolia flower is complete. And for the for this one. I'm just going to drop down some standing lines. See, I'm going to sign it over. Okay, now check here. It is ready. Okay, I hope you all enjoy and you all learn this new pattern of art, which is known as a coffee zen art. And basically, here I am using the coffee, and I'm I'm using the coffee wash 
into my subject and here I use the coffee as a background. Here is the coffee Zena. Okay. Now I I will show you some of my artwork with this coffee art. See here is a elephant face. This one is a fish, artistic fish. This one is a flamingo. This is some flower. These are some flowers and here this one is a carnation flower, butterfly over a flower, and this is a honeybee. And here I used coffee as a background and then painted dragonflies then tangled dragonflies okay so here are some of my art hope you all enjoy just please please share with me i'm happy to see your coffees in art and i will also share your creation in my post just tag hashtag coffee zen art and tag arts koholik and add and please, please tag added as Arts Koholik, okay? Then bye.